Rick and Morty Season 7 came out late last year, Our Lord's Year of 2023. I only watched it recently, and I have to say it's the weakest season of the show so far. With that being said, I still enjoyed it. There were some really great episodes and some, uh, let's say, not so good ones. The first episode of this season was definitely an episode of television, I'll tell you that much. Episode 1 consists of Mr. Poopy Butthole being a drunk while living in the Smith household after Beth shot him a while back in the show. Beth wants Rick to make an intervention for him and to get him out of the house. This episode is not good. To me, it's one of the worst ever episodes of the entire series. Nothing actually happens here. Rick just gathers a bunch of side characters like Bird Person and other canonical friends, and then they go on drinking instead of making an intervention, with Hugh Jackman somehow being a part of the episode, by the way. It's a very weak start to the season, the weakest season opener in my opinion, and it brings the vibe down for the first few episodes, with the first genuinely good episode only coming in episode 4, the spaghetti episode. That's the only thing I'll say about it, it's a must watch this season. This felt like filler, but not in a good way. Usually filler episodes are the ones we're looking forward to, something like the Vet of Acid episode. This felt like a filler, and usually that doesn't happen on this show because all episodes are good, but not this time. The other bad episode, and this one I would say is actually bad, is episode 8. The one about the war between the numbers and the letters, you know, from that one gag a while back with Ice-T. This one is most likely the worst episode of the entire show. I wasn't even annoyed with this one, I was just wondering who this episode was made for. Because the fan reception is awful. On IMDb, this episode has a 4.5 rating, by far the lowest ever rating on this series. The only other episode rated below a 6 was back in season 5, the Marty Sperm episode, that also gave us another dubious episode, the one with the giant incest baby. Can't believe that just came out of my mouth. This Numbers and Letters episode was just perplexing. It was made just to fill out the space of an episode, besides being the only episode in the show without Rick, which is a very odd choice for such a weak episode. Both of these episodes could have easily just been an after credit scene gag that lasts for about a minute or two. Let's talk about the good ones now. Episode 5 was really really good. It's one of those canon episodes where the story of the show actually moves forward. And this episode was about Rick finding Rick Prime with the help of Evil Morty and, spoiler alert, killing him. That's right, Rick Prime is dead and we also got confirmation that our Morty is Rick Prime's actual grandson. This was an excellent episode, and it shows us that the writers can deliver, but only when they want. Now, the other fantastic episode was the season finale, where Rick and Morty are invited by a strange man to visit a whole lot of Denny's. Random, I know. Since they were looking for something really scary to experience, because they have become desensitized by their adventures and don't get easily scared anymore. Now, I believe people should just watch this one, since it might just be one of the best ever episodes of this show. So I'll just say that Marty discovers a lot about himself on this one. These two were excellent episodes, and really exposed the weakest parts of the season. A season that I enjoyed, but felt like they could have just done 8 episodes instead of 10. We'd get less episodes, but the overall quality would have improved a lot. One thing I noticed is that while Jerry and Summer both had an episode to shine, Beth didn't get any episodes this season. Sure, she was there for most of them, but no episodes were focused on her, something I find weird. Maybe Sarah Chalk had other commitments and couldn't be in the studio as much, the reporter or something, but Beth barely had anything to do. Hopefully that'll change in season 8. Speaking of season 8, it will premiere sometime around 2025, and I think the show is supposed to go on until season 10. Hopefully next season the show will bounce back, because season 7 lacked consistency throughout its 10 episodes, but we'll have to wait and see though. Anyway, that's about it. See ya.